Once you're logged into Canvas, you'll be directed to a dashboard in which you can see all of your courses. There are a few ways in which you can see your assignments, and the way you look at your assignments might depend on your teacher. But to get a general look at your assignments, you might want to check out your to-do list, which is on the right side of the page. This is your to-do list for all courses. It might not be the most reliable way, however, to see every single assignment. Another option for you is to look at your calendar. So as you can see from the calendar, if I were a student, I would have a lot of assignments due on Sunday and a lot of assignments due on Friday. That's because I'm in only two classes and those two classes all have assignments due on the same day. That will not look the same for you. So in your classes, you might see that you have some assignments due on Monday and they would be from a range of classes. You would be able to click on each of those assignments to see the assignment description in the calendar. So of course, your calendar would be more balanced. As you can see, there are two different colors here. One is for one course and another is for another course. So of course, you will have more classes in your dashboard. And so you would see a different range of colors, one for each class. And here, as you can see, is a key. Uh, that is another way to look at assignments. But my personal favorite way to look at assignments or for my students to look at assignments is actually to click into the course. And I'm guessing that this is what most of your teachers will require. So again, let's start from the dashboard so you can see how that works. So I'd go ahead and click into Algebra 1. And from there, I would want my students to not just look at the to-do list because as I said, it, it doesn't tell you a specific order or there might be some things that are cut off at the bottom. So instead of guiding my students to the to-do list, I would ask them to go to modules. From modules, you can see everything that uh, students are expected to go through. So for example, in my class, I might want to have them look at some resources maybe a video, maybe some notes before they actually work on an assignment. So here we have an assignment and I would have the due date underneath that assignment and then perhaps you might have a quiz and your teacher will guide you as far as how and when they want you to do each assignment. But I do want to let you know or point out that there are due dates under each assignment that is posted. All right, so that's how you see your assignments. In the next video, we'll take a closer look at how to submit assignments.